1,017 pages. Did you read it, Mr. Perlio? I've read all three versions of it. You have. So when I pull out a line, you can tell me it's accurate? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to do that, though. My name is Kelly Boyle, and I'm a federal employee. So you're not going to mess with my health care. These folks are different. Um, the one thing I want to say before I get into this was you didn't answer the question. Would, would you pay the health care plan? You never answered a question. You are no longer you are no longer a congressman. Are you going to take the health care plan? Sure, the public option. Well, I want to exchange the whole to take point. It is, as a do you promise to give up what you have yes. now and take it if it's passed? We're going to try to stick to the order here, but let me just go back in this case and say this. I would really, really want this to exist if I lost my job. I the whole point is no one is required to take the government option. That's what the word. That's, it's not a case of what you're not required. Talking. It's a case of would you want to take it? Well, what's being I would take the best option, and that's the idea is to create competition. Okay, well, I would want to go into the minute. show. Okay. All right, we'll go back to order. Okay, that, that works for me. Here's a big issue right here. You see how thick that is, and that's just one version, and how many times it's been revamped. There is absolutely no reason, no bill in the federal government ought to be that thick. That is so convoluted that I can interpret something totally different from what you have just said earlier when you answered their questions. And I'm sure somebody over here will interpret it something different too. It is so ambiguous. It is completely wide open to interpretation. So whatever the final product is, I hope it will be in plain layman terms. Because these, these people will not know what, what they're getting. Um, my bigger issue is this. We have Medicaid, we have Medicare, we have the Children's Health Insurance Program. And these programs could solve the problems if you funded them appropriately, not you per se, if the eligibility requirements were changed, you wouldn't have to reinvent the wheel. We've already got it. We've just not been taking care of it. So if we turn around and devote the time and energy and monies into those programs, those that have been laid off, those that have lost their health coverage, those small business owners who can't afford a group policy, this can help everyone. It can help everyone. You've already got a basis. Why waste valuable time trying to start something all over again? It's, it's a perfect plan for people if you do it right. I'm not for, I'm not against, because this is truly not going to affect me. The biggest part that's going to affect me is that the government continues to interfere in my autonomy. I'm a grown woman. You're going to, you're, meaning Congress and this administration, are controlling that child's life before he's even two years old. I just want a simple version, a fix on the Medicaid, Medicare, and the Children's Health Insurance Program. I don't want 3200. I don't want 3235. I don't want the Senate's version. We want a plan that works, that we already have. We want it, that plan fixed. Thank you. And I do appreciate the coming tonight. I do. Good evening, Mr. Perriello, and thank you very much for allowing me a few minutes of your time. Uh, I believe we're all pretty familiar with HR 3200, even though in its extreme length, it's very difficult to read. I have been spending my time reading it. And um, I would like to uh, make one statement on page 58 of uh, section 1173A, line 16 to 19, explain that the government will have the right to go to our private bank account and electronically remove what they feel, or the secretary, the word is secretary in there, what the secretary feels is a fair fee from my money. I think it's illegal. I think them in, in even getting into any of my private uh, records is illegal, and it's all written here. 
Another thing, you had mentioned that it isn't in here about non-residents, but on page uh, 168 through 170 of HR 3200, it explains how the expense of this health care bill will be shared equally with all individuals.